Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be uh, just uh, mentioning a few facts what I find about the A350. Uh, the A350 is the newest uh, commercial aircraft so far. It's from Airbus. We have the Airbus. Airbus has so far uh, developed the A300, 310, 320, 340 and the 380 and now comes the 350. It's uh, the, sequ the European Dreamliner, it's a sequel to the Dreamliner, to Boeing's Dreamliner I mean. It has two, uh, it has two uh, very powerful engines, as you see here, it has two very powerful engines. In this video it's doing a vertical takeoff, nearly a vertical takeoff, and it has also a large uh, winglet at the, e at the end of each wing to allow for a longer range. Um, it's expected actually to, to travel very long routes like for example uh, uh, Perth to yes, uh, I think like Europe to Australia as far as I know and uh, two versions have been built so far the 900 and the 1000 series it's uh, it's a bit more modern than the 777 and it's also slightly smaller because it's yes it has two engines and can carry about 400 passengers or so 300 to 400 passengers and so um, it's really a legend it's a famous thing uh, so far at, at the airport I haven't seen it myself but it is uh, really a, um, an incredible uh, development of aviation as it's the newest version so far and it has it does have some problems because it um where uh because uh, the computers are overriding the pilot so uh, that that uh, makes that can cause problems so until it's actually completely safe to fly with i'd say it still will take another few years maybe like three to five years because it's the newest plane on the market right now the newest plane that has just been introduced by commercial uh, airplane manufacturers. Yes, yeah, so uh, airplane manufacturers are always looking for new ways to make planes more streamlined, have less engines and travel longer distances and also be more fuel efficient including uh, uh, less noise. For example, uh, the A380 is uh, quieter than the 747 because it's a newer, a newer model. And so it sh should soon be possible in about three to six years to fly non-stop flights from Europe to Australia and back. Or for example, from uh, Europe to New Zealand. Such long stretches that cover about... Yes, <coughs> they cover about... 1200 nautical miles which is 20,000 kilometers so that's halfway around the earth close to that at least so uh, airplanes are getting more modern as time goes on